All right guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be showing what's on the workbench for Monday, the 29th of March, 2021. So uh, first knife here we've got is this nice skinning knife. Got the nice jimping on the spine here for grip and just gives you a bit more control over the blade. Um, I'm a big fan of the uh, jimping on the knives. Uh, so this is a uh, bang on five inches, this blade is, as you can see. This blade is uh, bang on five inches in length. Uh, so yeah, got to ground the bevels here. You can see I've got my marks out. I've got the dicum on here, uh, dicum layout fluid. And I've got my line scribed with the calipers and I've scribed my two center lines as well that I'll grind down to when I break my 45 degree angles and I break my 90s on here. This knife's going to be for sale actually as well. I mentioned in the last video about the, when I talk about the UK knife laws, this knife will be going out for sale when it is uh, finished. I'll be putting blue G10 scales on it. I'll be giving this blade a satin finish. Um, I'm not too sure what grit of a satin finish it'll be, but it'll definitely be a satin finish. It won't be a mirror finish. Uh, I'll be getting 6mm brass pins, uh, blue G10 scales with a 2mm thick blue Kydex sheath. So that's the first knife for sale. This knife won't be for sale um, simply because it's my cleanest knife I've ever done with the plunge lines and the bevels. It's the cleanest one I've ever done. So this won't be for sale. I'm going to keep this for myself. Um, but this has the, is going to have probably red G10 scales uh, with the two brass pins and then the lanyard tube at the back, which is six millimeters outer diameter and a five mil inner diameter. That's the diameter of the tubes now that I use. So I've got the bevels ground on this knife, as you can see. Really nice and even. Uh, this was laid out with a dicum layout fluid, and then the lines were scribed. Um, the plunge line jig was on there, obviously, and then I ground my bevels. As you can see, got a little bit more work to do on this edge, take it down to the apex to get it nice and sharp. But all the, all the plunge lines meet up perfectly, as you can see. Uh, this was These bevels have been taken to 400 grit on the belt. I did a 80 grit and then a 120 grit, both fresh grit uh, ceramic belts for the bevels and then I finished it with a 400 grit Trizac belt. Really like those Trizac belts. They run really quietly as well on my machine. I don't know if it's just my machine or the belts in general. But they're really nice and they run quite cool as well. So yeah, this is the second knife on the workbench. The size of this one. I'm not actually too sure. But about six, six and a quarter inches, nearly six and a half inches. Hope you enjoyed this video. I don't know if any of you guys will be interested. Uh, I like to watch other people's videos of these, showing what's on their workbench. So hopefully you guys found this interesting. But yeah, this nice little knife. This one hasn't got any jimping on the spine. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. But that's what's on the workbench for the month of March the 29th. Monday the 29th of March. These two knives on the workbench. Gonna hopefully get these bevels ground probably tomorrow. So I've got to deliver the I've got to take the uh, neck knife I made to my grandpa today, so I won't be getting much work in. Grind these bevels probably tomorrow or something like that. So uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed and thanks for watching.